business has become and remains successful from good people operating good systems. But what happens if your organization's systems and processes are bad? Edward Stemming said, A bad system will beat a good person every time. So what can you do? You have to focus not on trying harder within the current system, but on changing it so that success is built into the system. So, you standardize the process or system to stabilize it and remove some of your stress, operate it and create value. Observe the system performance and then improve it continually. But you need to develop good habits so that this approach becomes a second nature to you and the people in your organization. To support effective and strong management systems, we at MP have this approach. Each solution is built on a cycle and solutions are bunched up to create a closed loop system. Let me explain. Repeating the practice of a solution forms habits. Example, problem solving or risk management. Most of the solutions are built on an improvement cycle. Plan, do, check, adjust, or PDCA. So that they get simpler and better over time. What is really convenient is that each solution can be implemented independently and will add value to the business. When solutions are linked together, they form a closed loop system. The output of a solution is the input to another one. A closed loop system will self-regulate against disruptions to achieve a desired outcome. An example of a closed loop system is to support heads of departments to be competent, consistent, and accountable at managing process risks. At a high level, the business management system is built on several closed loops to ensure compliance and adequacy. Compliance means that the standard of work is followed, and adequacy is the assurance the system is effective. When solutions are integrated, we have seamless work and a unique set of information. We have one version of the truth. Okay, now in this set of videos, we introduce five closed loops that link several employee solutions together. The first one is the head of the department accountability to manage process risks in their department, the head of department accountability to manage performance of their teams, integrating continuous improvement in the company management system, management of the customer supplier relationship between functional teams, and finally, the management of system or process failures. In the next video, you will see how heads of department take ownership of process risks through continuous improvement and coaching. Thank you for watching. I'll see you in the next video.